Да, на английском языке. Что здесь происходит? Расскажи, почему это произошло, что произошло. People are coming, keep coming. As we can see, the the traffic is almost blocked, and no cars can go through the street. People are coming and coming and coming. This way, trying to show their position and they're against the Russian government and decisions that are made by the Russian government. You can see also lots of people, the Ukrainian flags, just standing here. And each 10 or 20 minutes, the national anthem is sung. You can see lots of um, people covered, faces of whom are covered. Those are ultras, special people, club fans. And the media keep coming, the biggest broadcasting TV companies of Ukraine keep coming here. What do you think this all happening now on the 14th of July, uh, June? Uh, after Maidan things, after Crimea things, after Russian invasion, actually we know now uh, that Russia invaded Ukraine. Well, yes, and this is just one more way for Ukraine people to show that we're against the policy which is led by the government of Russia. And this is that people are crashing cars, they're tired, they're sick of, of the lies that are told by the Russian people. Russian politicians, and this is just a means of expressing our protest. What do you think might happen after this thing started, the first building, and uh, uh, doesn't it a sign that the first building that uh, all these people are trying to destroy is Russian embassy here in Kiev, in the capital of Ukraine, the country that is invaded, how it might roll in the what next think, future? Uh, might be coming a way of uh, other people in other cities trying to damage the property of Russia, uh, the governmental building of Russia. Just the, the same thing that was happening to the monument of Lenin. Probably this is just the new big so-called trend. What do you think? Do these all people now angry? about Russian behavior and about the approach to the neighbor closest friends and the brother, as Russian people call Ukraine, our brother. But do they people that we see now are going to fight? Are they ready to fight against Russia? What do you think? What is your personal opinion about that? Yes, they are. We're ready when we came out in the street in November, and then when the students were beaten, and the people were killed. And we're still ready to fight, and we are fighting. This is just, I would say, one of the most peaceful ways to express that we are against Russia. But you can also see that the self-defense people are here, and they are guarding the border of the embassy. And they say, do not cross the line, because this is Russian territory, and we cannot penetrate the territory, which is very important, I believe. Though the damage is done already, but now we're trying to make it more or less peaceful, and more or less official, in a way, not cross the line of the embassy. Смотри, 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 waiting if something happens they will of course try to attack and try to deal with what's happening they said that 
this is not a European way to, to do and to act. And if we want to move towards Europe, we should not use these methods, which are not, um, which are not European at all. They also said that time is getting... Stop, 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 We're now here near the embassy of Russia. The time is getting closer to midnight. People are still protesting, people are still standing here. And they stated a few hours ago that they're not going to to end the protest. And they will stand here um, till some decision comes up. So what we now have, we made the negotiations uh, with the representatives of the Russian embassy three hours ago and um, all the things we require from the Russian Federation uh, will be given to the Putin as soon as possible. What people are now doing, we've got the tires, which are expected to be burned, hopefully no. There are two or three cars of fire brigade standing here, uh, one medical car, just in case. Uh, people are now standing here still, expressing the protest uh, because of the people who died in the, on the plane, and um, just against the Russian policy. Um, the idea which we pursue all the time. So people are gathering here, um, nobody is going away, and um, we all uh, understand that people will not go away. During all night, people will stand here and protest.